good YouTube. We are back with another video. And by the title, you can tell that today's video is going to be all about our pregnancy, how we hid it from our families for three months, and we're going to answer questions about our pregnancy, where we are now, where we were when we first found out, and all of that good stuff. So, basically by this video, we're just trying to put our story out there. We want this channel to be as open and raw as possible and really tell our story and our journey. Okay, if you don't know, we live in North Carolina, but we're from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. So my birthday is April 22nd and we went down the weekend after my birthday. And we kind of just like leading up to that, we kind of had a feeling just because not like I wasn't sick, like nothing was hurting. I did want to eat a lot, but that's it. That's normal. So, I'm a girl. And you missed a bit. Or you felt like you missed a bit. Yeah, usually it's in the early 20s. But we went down and I still hadn't started. And I'm like, whatever. Sometimes it's late. Sometimes whatever. So we came back April 28th. And um, I was just like, we need to take a test. Like, it's the month almost over. And I haven't had a period yet. So we took one, but it came back negative. And I was like, there's no way that I'm not. Like, I, I just had, I guess they say, like, you just have a feeling. And I had a feeling. And I was like, there's no way that I'm not. So I remember we went to Walmart and bought more. And I remember his mom called us while we were in there getting them. And we were just like, oh, we're just getting snacks. We just wanted snacks and we needed a few things for the house but we got it and i was just like we'll wait until in the morning because that's when you have the best urine or whatever it's when your hormones are the strongest or something like that i don't know so we woke up the next morning and we, we looked at the other tests from the night and yeah we, when we woke up we looked at the one from the night before and it said positive yeah, it came from negative to positive. Yeah, and we waited the amount of time we were supposed to wait, but it was still weird that it said. So we took another one, and it was a digital one, and it automatically, like, quick, right? Yeah. It, it came, came back positive. Maybe like two minutes. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, yeah. And it really didn't feel real. I was kind of like in shock. I was like, what did we do? Did it take like three? Yeah, we took three, and all of them were positive, so we knew for sure again. And then we hit it for, th I was 15 weeks, so we did end up telling his mom before my mom, which broke a lot of hearts, <laughs> but um, I, I had my reasons. My biggest thing was I was scared I was going to disappoint my family and just, I don't know, I don't, my biggest thing is I don't want to be like sh shamed or feel shamed, so I just wanted to hide it because it still didn't feel real, I don't know, I guess I just wanted to wait till I actually started showing to believe it, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> she found out I was at uh, one of my... Um on my friend's house or whatever up here and um he um I don't know I called her I don't know mom babysits um kids or whatnot so I always ask about the kids and all of this and all that so I guess she kind of had this feeling that um uh, maybe we we're pregnant because I was always talking about the kids and checking in on the kids and all of that so in which all the time, no matter what, every time a family member would call, they would ask if we were pregnant or if I was pregnant yet and all that stuff. So, well, her family did. Yeah. My family yeah. never um, asked until I really kind of, I guess she said I kind of gave it away, but always asking about the kids and stuff like that. So, um, I guess she kind of, she more so figured it out than me telling her. Yeah. I actually told my father. No, I did tell my mother first. Yeah, it was the same day. Yeah, 
I think I ended up telling her first. Because you were like, he's, she's going to tell. Well, he, no, because I was like, I'll tell him first. He can he can hold the secret or whatever. I'll tell him, then I'll tell her. But I think I ended up telling her, or well, she ended up figuring it out or whatnot. And then, uh, I think I ended up telling him the same day. So. Yeah. I hate the way I told them because I waited. Well, him and his mom, it got to the point where they were like, you need to tell or we're going to tell. So I was like, okay, yeah, I definitely want to be the one to tell them. So just let me do it. And yeah, so I texted them one day when we were leaving to head back up here. And it was after the 4th of July. We were down yes. there for the 4th of July. So I think it was when we were coming back. And I told him, and it wasn't bad at all. I don't know why I was scared. But, like I have a very supportive family. Even if you don't think, like that's the main thing why I want to make this video. Cause even if you don't think your family's going to be supportive, they're going to be supportive for you. No matter if they want to or not. Like she was just really scared. Yeah, especially no, because, since we're so far away. Right, I guess she was scared of how her mom would react and uh, I know just, I don't like being shamed or feel like I'm being condemned. And that was the main thing I thought was gonna happen. And it was the complete opposite. We're right, like everybody was really supportive, still supportive. Yeah. They're really excited. So I guess that's the story on how we found out and how we hit it. Now we can do the questions. First one is, was it planned? Everything is a part of God's plan, and He does everything for a reason. So, He knew that we were gonna be young parents. He had it all planned out, worked out. So, there was no need to worry. Yeah, I mean, it, it didn't feel real, but uh, I, I don't know. I was happy nonetheless. I said, besides it not feeling real, I was like. I kind of felt like it was a joke or so um, I was happy I always wanted to be a father uh, whether it was this early or whenever I, um, I don't know I was just ready to be the best father I could to my child you know so I didn't mind it. I don't I guess I, I'm ready. And I guess I am ready. Well, for me, I was more of in shock and didn't think that it would happen so soon. And I was like, really like, what have we done? Like, is this how it's supposed to be? And which it took me a while to really be okay with it and like I wasn't like doubting it or anything like I knew for a fact I wanted to keep the baby but it was just like really just me being scared of not doing what I needed to do to like be a good mom and just I think everybody gets scared whether it was planned or not or whether you wanted it or not you're always going to be scared just because you are bringing another life into the world in which also I was really worried about that because this world's going crazy. You've been shot because of how you felt people would react yeah. and I'm really big on how people feel about me and what people say about me. I, but I think you I think that's changing. Like, yeah, definitely. It's it's really changing. But I felt like that was the the problem then. Like it wasn't like I guess you really having doubts about yourself is about you worrying about people having doubts about you. Yeah. And that was like, like I say one of the things I tried to remove from both of our lives, like keep the negative energy away. Like, so, I mean, it's all become a lot better. So. Yeah. Did we want to be parents? Well, you already know his answer is yes. Of course. I always wanted to be a mom, but I never like I didn't want to have the kid myself like I always wanted to adopt and I would think about sometimes like maybe having my own but also adopting and then just because I was scared of like the birth part which I've calmed myself down about that because there's no point in worrying about that but 
I think we both always wanted to be parents, whether it was, well, he didn't want to adopt. He wanted his own. But I didn't care whether it was my own or through adoption. I did want to try to have a kid of my own first yeah. and that things didn't go as planned then I had no problem adopting. Do we want a boy or a girl? So, I wanted a boy. I wanted a girl 100%. And we are having a boy, so I, mean, I was really excited about that. But I don't know, I always wanted a, a mini me, you know. I was, I honestly was okay with either or. You know, the whole before we had our gender reveal, uh, maybe we can get some pictures. I was gonna say, I'll insert a video of it. And but now that I know that I'm having a boy, I'm really excited to have a boy. And I really, if we were to have another kid, I would want it to be a boy. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, for me, like I said, I didn't, I didn't care. You know, I just wanted to be... A healthy baby. Yeah, a healthy baby and to, you know, just... I mean, regardless, they're gonna get the same amount of love, the yeah. same treatment. So that was my biggest thing. You know, I was, I'm, going, I'm going to do for them, you know, to the best of my ability, regardless, so. I'm happy we're having a boy first because if we were to have a girl, he could always protect her and look over her. The motherly instincts kick in. Yeah. We could do both. We could do like motherly and fatherly. Well, I mean, I don't. Okay, yeah, all right, all right. I think I've always had motherly in in instincts. Instincts. Because I have younger siblings and a nephew. So I think once they were born and me being old enough to look after them and feed them. I think, and I'm very protective over them, and then even after getting pregnant, it's gotten a lot worse, and I've gotten a lot more protective, so I definitely think they've already come in, and I think I've had them just from having younger siblings and a nephew. Yeah, I guess kind of the same for me. I have um, little cousins and things, so I try to, you know, do... I guess not really fatherly things for them, but you know, try to make sure they're on the right path and um, keep them straight. And, and kids love him, all kids. But she has told me, um, like I've been sleeping, um, you know, maybe she's up and I've said like, what, have, what did I say? So we were, no, you were asleep and I was getting up to go to the bathroom and you like jump up and try to grab me because you thought it was the baby falling off the bed. And I'm like, it's just me. And he like, cause when he's asleep, he like just talks out of his butt. But he thought the baby was already here and he was already trying to protect him and all that. So I definitely think he has his father instincts and I think he's been had him too. Have you had any cravings? I don't really crave food. I crave smells. I crave like gas and tires and auto stores and like rubber and stuff like that. Definitely the beginning of my pregnancy, I could not eat chicken. And I think it was because I ate it a lot before I was pregnant. So that was definitely a no-go for me. I guess if you guys have more questions you want to ask it maybe we can do another I guess Q&A about uh, about our um, pregnancy and I'm really excited yeah. and I know that he's going to be a great dad she's going to be a wonderful mother and we can't wait to bring you along our journey and we're ready for him to be here so we hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video. And make sure to comment down below if you have more questions about our pregnancy or just anything or any video request. Just comment them down below or we'll also have our social medias linked down below. Send them to any of our socials and we'll make sure to answer, film, whatever you want to see. Peace. Bye.